traders and commuters at Wademazie and five other joining communities in the North Dai district of the Volta region go through tough times before cutting their farm produce for sale. Stanley Nible will reports work on the road project has been abandoned and the contract's documents disappeared at the assembly. Anfuega Akukome, Wademahe, Logba and Denui are some neighboring communities with increased population in the North Dai district of the Volta region. The communities are linked by a major road which also facilitates commuting and transporting of farm produce to market centers for sale. The 40-kilometer road also joins the Eastern Corridor Road and eventually leads to Togo. But the deplorable state of the road hampers smooth commuting. In late 2016, a contract was awarded for the construction of the road to ease the plight of users and boost commercial activities in the area. However, the contractor abandoned site after constructing some culverts and drains. You cannot access certain part of the town because of the gutter that they have constructed. There are no slabs that links various homes. We don't have them. The road has deteriorated and increases traveling hours. If this road should be con 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 constructed, you see people passing here from here to the Republic of Togo. It's a commercial, it's a commercial road. And it is a road that if you are driving from, from Accra, going to Tafi Monkey Sanctuary, if you pass through here, it is very, very short. The road has been blocked at Demi, compelling motorists to divert their way through a marshy path. <laughs> It was a market day at Amfuega Akukome, and so it was time for both traders and motorists to cash in. However, not all traders carting goods had it rosy. A trader, Francisca Aja, had her goods stacked in a thick mud at Denui in an attempt to assess a dry land. After an hour without help, they gave up. But 15 minutes later, some passers-by intervened. Just as we thought the motor king carrying the goose has been saved, then this happened. Frustration sets in. When they are ready to go to market, these are the problems that they face. At times, they, they, they cannot even get to the market due to the poor nature of the road. The poor nature of the road has been a problem. See, at times, when it rains, they will not be able to uh, convey market women from their various places to the, to the market. This is what they do for a living. But because of the, the, the road, the way things happen, most of them have to stop their business and, 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 and stay back in the house. Francisca Aja arrived at the market at midday, by which time her customers had left. She then had to display her wares for sale. This is not the only worry the road posed to inhabitants. Access to health care at Wadamahe also does not come easy. Most of our people, our clients come from the villages. When they are coming, especially at the rainy season, they find it very difficult to move. Uh, to the facility to assess the healthcare. So sometimes we have to go there. Even going there or getting access to the place is very difficult. District Chief Executive Kuju Ata claimed contract documents on the project could not be found and the contractor also not known. Uh, this feeder road is a cocoa road project. Till date, I've not seen the contract document in that project. The General Assembly decided on its wisdom to consult my predecessor, Honorable Timinka, so that we could know the whereabouts of these particular road projects. He admitted outside the house to a member that he has the document. And indeed, people have seen the document in his car. Until now, he will not release the document to us. He suspects dubious deals in the contract. 
The truth of the matter is that somebody is hiding something. I believe strongly somebody is hiding something. I'm not happy about it. I informed the regional federal road, and they tell me that they cannot give me the contract documents. This is where we are. Wadamahe and its adjoining communities require government intervention to bring the contractor back to site to complete the construction of the road. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Wadamahe, Volta Region.